Guys, we are back with another video here, and this video is on the brand new event that has come out in Hut. I'm gonna give you everything you need to know about it and kind of just talk about what I think of it overall, all right? So, if you guys haven't already, though, make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel and turn on all the notifications, all right? So, let's hop into it right now. So, this was teased yesterday, right? We kind of knew what we were gonna expect, all right? So, this event is called the Social Showdown event. You can see the four MSPs that came out. It's a one week event, all right? So, you have the Olmark, Pedersen, Rick Nash, and Patrick Line. These were selected by The Nasher, of course, YouTuber, hockey YouTuber, and Pavel Barber, also another hockey YouTuber. Of course, everyone knows him. But yeah, so there you go. They're 496 overalls. Olmark, Pedersen, Nash, Line. I'll talk about them a little bit uh, as well. But uh, as, as usual, the same 96 are, are in packs. The power-ups are the 86s, of course, and we'll go from there. But here's the four, and then you have the event cards here as well, right? So Theo Fleury, Dougie Hamilton, Martin Louis, Kirby Doc, Anthony Manta, Shane Gossesbear, Zach Parise, which I actually really pitched to EA to give him a card. So, you know, I kind of feel, you know, responsible for that. So that's kind of cool. But Cole Caulfield, Tyler Ennis, and Williamson. So it's a pretty decent event card. Nothing too crazy, though. Nothing to do with the event. Those are the prime times, and those are the packs. All right, and then let's get into the next thing here. And the next thing is going to be the objectives. All right, so the objectives here. Then it's a one-week event here. And uh, the power of collectible is the ultimate reward here. Five event collectibles as well with it. Win by five. Win five games by at least seven goals. So that's a collectible. Win 15 games. Another collectible. Take 400 shots. Another collectible. Score 125 goals. That's another collectible. 300 hits, another collectible, and then win five shutout games. It's another collectible, all right? So there you go for the objectives, all right? So nothing too crazy when it comes to that, all right? Next up is going to be the challenges, all right? So challenges probably going to be, you know, very similar to how it always is, a daily challenge. Would you look at that, guys? It's 300 coins. So again, not really worth playing that, obviously. Then the group one here, coins, two gold players, an event collectible. This one is... Silver player, seasonal collectible, all right? And then this one is four silver players. Coins, I believe, I believe it's all coins. I mean, I can't tell though, because the song obviously blocking it. Coins, seasonal collectible, event collectible, and then the last but not least here is one silver, coin, seasonal, seasonal, event, two seasonals, mini pack, and then an event and two more gold players. So those are the challenges for this event, all right? So nothing too crazy about that. And then the packs are pretty funny. Also, the names are really funny. So uh, you can see right now you have the starter pack, which is always the same, right? 15 items, power-up collectible, guaranteed 83-plus item. And then the MSP players pack, 15 items, including a random 86 overall master item. And then you have the like and subscribe pack, which is 30 items and at least 15 gold players and a guarantee of 481 pluses. And then the give a follow pack as well. So some pretty clever names here by EA. You got to give them credit. Pretty funny. And it's uh, 20 items, 15 players and two guaranteed 80 plus overall items. And then, uh, yeah, that's really it. So some pretty decent packs here. Uh, nothing too absurd. Again, kind of the same old format we've been seeing now for a while. All right, and then now next up is going to be the sets. All right, so here are the sets now, guys. The social showdown sets. And again, you know, they're they're pretty solid, guys. The sets are pretty solid here. And, uh, you know, I'm definitely a fan. I mean, I'm definitely a fan of, uh, of these sets. I mean, it's just kind of like the same routine, though. I mean, you get it, guys, right? You have the NHL players pack. You can trade in four collectibles for. You have a follow pack, two. And then, uh, yeah, the seven collectibles to make the 86 here and try to power them up and then as i said guys this, the collectibles are the same uh obviously right it's kind of the same format they're going for the most you can get at once is eight and that's by trading in a 90 plus overall item and the same tiers remain the same right so this is obviously seven for 189 plus and then this is obviously 188 for six and then this is 187 for five and then of course 86 is is going to be three they give you so yeah i mean some pretty decent stuff there those are the overall collectibles the format of the event guys so there you go now let's move on to the next thing of course that's the overall cards right guys so the cards are always important to think about and talk about so here we go all right so here are the event items and here's a social showdown events all right so we got the MSPs of Patrick Line, 96 overall. All right, this card is very good. All right, so here are the sins active on him. Gets up the 94 Excel, 99 agility, 99 balance, 98 endurance, and 93 speed on him. Shot is max, of course, 99 across the board. Doesn't need anything. He's pretty much 99 shot, I think, when he's at 92 overall, Line A. His shot's unbelievable. He's a 6'5, 205 winger. Uh, he looks really, really good. So he's got unstoppable force, 
Make it snappy, third eye, tape it tape, and then snipe are the abilities on him. So really, really good card here. And then you have the Rick Nash, who's 6'4", 211. He's got all sins here, all skating sins. Uh, 95 Excel, 95 Agility, 99 Bounce, 97 Endurance, and 93 Speed. Shots really good as well. 99, 98, 99, and 97. Abilities are puck on a string, big rig, unsolvable force, no contest, and then, of course, goal close quarters. So this card is probably sick from in tight. So, yeah, that's Rick Nash. He looks really, really good. And then Linus Olmark as well here, 5'10", 181. He's got Ankle Breaker, puck on a string, it's tricky, make it snappy, and then Elite Edges as well. So... Uh, really, really nice card here is this Olmark, so I definitely like it a lot, guys, and, um, yeah, Olmark looks good. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't make Olmark for sure, but definitely an interesting card. And then Eli Elias Pedersen here, Elias Pedersen, he looks really good. People are thinking he might be the best card of them all, which is possible. He's 6'2", 176, That's the only thing I don't like about him is his, his weight, he's a little bit too small, but... Uh, he's got all three skating sins, which gets him up to a 95 Excel, 99 Agility, 94 Bounce, 96 Endurance, and 97 Damn Speed. Very good. 99 Shot across the board. He's got Ankle Breaker, Elite Edges, Seeing Eye, Make It Snappy, and then Gold Snipe. So, very, very good abilities as well. Um, and he's got 88 Face Off, so, I mean, pretty decent. Patterson looks really, really fun and good to use, so... Uh, yeah, I mean, these look pretty solid. And then you have the Theo Fleury, 94 overall. Uh, he's up to 96 speed as well. Sk great skating. Sense. I know he's 5'6", 182. Definitely not the biggest guy, but he's got close quarters, truculence as well. And they got the Dougie Hamilton, who's always good. Six ticks, 229 D-man. I mean, you can't really uh, argue with that. Seeing Eye and Heat Seeker are his abilities. All right, so, I mean, 91 Excel, 90 speed on him. Marion St. Louis here, 5'8", 180. All right, so he gets up to 95 Excel and 95 speed. Good shot. He's got gold wheels as well, which is actually pretty nice to see on him also. So he lead edges are silver. Um, nice little fun card there. Kirby Doc, 91 overall as well. 6'4", 197, booming shot or buzzing. So he's got big rig and then close quarters. 89 Excel, 95 agility, 95 bounce, 89 endurance, and 90 speed on him. Decent shot, so you can't hate on that. Gossip's Bear as well. 5'11", 181. It's okay, nothing too crazy. Off the rush. Send it. And then Anthony Mantha, 90 overall, 6'5", 234. Gets to the 90 speed, uh, unstoppable force. And then Snipe are the abilities on him. So not bad. I mean, not bad. Uh, then Zach Parise, again, my guy that I recommended. Workhorse and distributor. So pretty usable card. 90 Excel, 90 agility, 90 bounce, 93 endurance, and 90 speed. 89, 91, 89, 91 for his shot. So a pretty good shot for Parise as well. Make it snappy. They got Cole Caulfield, 88 overall, 5'7", 165. 93 Excel, 98 Agility, 85 Bounce, 86 Endurance, and 93 Speed, 91, 92, 91, and 92 for his shot. And then we got Tyler Ennis, who's also 5'9", 161. All right, so there you go. Elite Edges, 91 Excel, 96 Agility, 85 Bounce, 86 Endurance, and 90 Speed, 88, 91, 88, and 91. And then Tex Williamson, 6'4", is a goaltender. All right, so there you go. He's got Lightwork as a silver ability. So those are all the event cards. Let me know what you guys think of the event. I think it's a pretty solid event, one-week event. I'm not mad about it. I think it's solid. Cool to incorporate Nasher and Pavel Barber into it. So let me know what you guys think of the event overall. If you guys did enjoy it, though, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe to the channel here. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrik3Es. Enjoy Discord. Talk to me. Follow and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.